Greg Tech circuits are a very important part of Greg Tech progression. I made this video to explain how Greg Tech circuit progression works. The circuits get progressively harder, as the hardest circuits might take over a thousand steps on some versions of Greg Tech. But let's start at the beginning. The first circuit that you can make in Greg Tech is the vacuum tube. It is just a small tube of glass with some funny wires in it. Attaching a resistor, a circuit board, and some more wires creates a primitive circuit, which is used in every machine in low voltage. This might look incredibly difficult to make if you are not trained, but this is just the beginning. Combining four primitive circuits with some more funny electronics will create a good electronic circuit which is required in medium voltage. This object is quite expensive, but you can make it easier. There is another type of MV circuit. It can be made using the LV circuit assembler instead of the crafting table. Yep, there are multiple circuits for each tier. There are different circuit types, and each one spans four tiers. For example, at MV, you can use the electronic circuit, but also the integrated circuit. Using a different circuit type will generally make things easier, because it requires less material, but a more advanced technological process. The circuit progression gets much harder at high voltage with the introduction of the clean room. The clean room is a sterile environment that you can use to make even more precise and powerful circuits. If you try to run clean room recipes outside of a clean room, the machine will shit itself and not work. You have to fit all the cables required to make circuitry in a small space. Clean rooms are extremely expensive if you are playing something like GT New Horizons, because of the wait time required to make the plascrete panels at over 7 hours. If you are playing an easier version of Greg Tech for 1.12, you don't have to wait that much. The machines that go in the clean room can be 3 or 69 quadrillion, depending on what Greg Tech version you're playing and how far have you gotten in the game. After microprocessors, you have nano circuits. Nano circuits are unlocked at extreme voltage and they require incredibly precise machinery, because they have to manipulate things with the size of one penis, or one nanometer. All of this just means that you have to do more endless grind and useless steps to progress in the game. Then there's quantum circuits. If you say the word quantum circuits next to a physicist, they will get quite angry at you. You can't just use the word quantum next to technology to make it sound cooler. Now we have reached crystal circuits. Gregorius T has somehow turned full on Outgirl and decided that crystals are obviously the higher type of technology. To create crystal circuits, you have to do some funny stuff which obviously requires 2 billion steps, because we are playing Greg Tech. Greg Tech truly feels like the myth of Sisyphus. Once you complete something, you figure out that there's 10 more things to do. At ludicrous voltage you unlock wetware circuits. This tier draws integrates biological components into electronic systems. Wetware technology involves the merging of biological tissue with electronic circuits. So quite literally, these circuit boards support real life. Wetware machines are required to run crisis at 4K 60 FPS. Then you have bioware circuit boards, which use a literal human brain. These are the highest tier of circuit that was in base 1.12 Greg Tech until 2020. But in 2021, a funny group of people called the Gregicality Development Team decided to make four more circuit tiers, because the circuits only went up to tier 11, or ultra high voltage. The highest energy tier was 15, maximum voltage, and they came up with this. Exotic circuits, also called spintronic or schizophrenics, use the literal spin of electrons to do stuff. I have no idea what this means as I am not a physicist. Then there are optical circuits, then cosmic circuits, and then supracausal circuits, which break the literal laws of time to get new information. These little shits have gone from Gregicality, a little known mod, to Greg Tech New Horizons, the most popular Greg Tech mod pack, but no one will even see them, because getting to that stage of gameplay takes about 3000 hours. To be honest this doesn't seem like an actual, thought out game progression. It feels like kids trying to play pretend and become an ultra super saiyan mega warrior. But instead of kids, it's 25 year old physicists, and instead of power levels it's circuit technology. This is a big problem of Greg Tech, you're not playing to have fun, 
but just to get to a slightly higher tier of technology with a harder chain and more useless chemistry. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. But there are 3,286 more tunnels to get through, for a total trip time of 6 years. Thank you for watching. Thank you.